Yar. Welcome back to Salt. I've been talking to this here village trader, and he's uh, telling me some things about trader tokens. I don't know what those are. I have a bunch of pirate tokens. Darn. Yeah, so anyway, I've been talking with this guy, trying to figure out um, what what his deal is. Um, so anyway... Yeah, so apparently these two treasure chests that are next to him... Uh... Crap. Are they on this side? I guess they're these over here? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, he's asking me for something called a trader token, and I don't have any of those. But he said if I bring some trader tokens to him... Then, let's see. For every five you give me, I'll give you a key to open one of my chests, and you can take what you like from it. Okay, cool. So I will look for those. I'm actually going to talk to this guy and see what kind of quests he might have. Let's speak to CJ. So I can bring... Hold on. If you bring me some basic raw meat or fish, I can cook it and turn it into an exquisite meal. Oh, I see. So, basically, I got it. So, I can bring him stuff like, um, what about deer meat? Salted venison increases max stamina for a short amount of time, increases max health for a short amount of time, uh, increases strength for a short amount of time. That's tiger meat. I don't have any of that. So, let's do some cooked deer meat, and I think I can do... Uh, sure. One cooked deer meat. Oh, God. Do I really have to do one at a time? Oh, he only can do... I... Okay, I see. I think I had some salmon. Oh, nope. Okay, I don't have any salmon. <laughs> Crab soup. Spicy marlin. Um, okay, I can't do that. Uh, what about this? Cooked piranha? No. I think I can't do any of these things. Gosh darn it. It's okay, I can do salted venison. Hardstone or and deer meat? Okay, that's fine. Um... Okay, I think that's all I can do for right now. Okay, this guy over here... I see it's about to be daytime again. This guy hmm. over here... I see, I need to, like, basically... He doesn't take money. He takes, like, stuff, and then he'll, you know... He'll kind of trade this stuff for certain items. So let's see, speak to outfitter... Okay. Special inventory... Sure. Weird. Wow. Okay, so what am I supposed to wear? Order of the Night robe and Order of the Night hood. Ah, okay, so I've basically been given a disguise, and I need to go talk to an innkeeper in that disguise and see what he knows about the skull ring. Wow. Okay. So I have a bunch of kind of like weird quests right now. Whoa. Oh boy. Okay, so I just found something that's really important to the main quest. Um, yeah, so... Basically, this is an altar. And uh, I'm going to mark down the location where I am right now because I'm going to need to know this. 9 west, 10 south. Oh, gosh, I'm really far out, aren't I? Let hmm. me go with that. It's kind of weird marking. But, uh, yeah, so I'm not really going to explain what this is for just yet, but it's coming. It's coming, trust me. Yeah, I think since I'm having a little bit of a hard time finding this stuff, I'm just going to move the main quest forward, and as soon as I have the required items that I need in order to finish that ship, I will finish it. So, but that's definitely going to take some time. So, um, <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the boat in the water. I just realized it's been raining for a very long time. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Put the boat in and get into it and take off. All right, let's see. Let's get out the compass. Okay, so we're at 7 west, 10 south, and 
Let's see. All right, so this is east. Yeah, and we're going to have to head pretty far to the east as well. So actually, in order to get to the um, that island with the skull on it, we're, we're going to have to go pretty far away from where we are currently. So you know what I wanted to try earlier? Increases intoxication. What does that do? Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Well, then. <laughs> I can just barely... I can still read the compass, though. That's actually kind of cool. So what is it like? It's like dins distance related stuff, isn't it? <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> uh, God, I wonder how long that's going to last. All right, I'm going to take a brief um, detour because I think this island might have some stuff on it. All I know is when I was coming up to it, it looked like there was another hunter's rest. Yep, there is. Would you look at... Holy crap, this island is big. Oh, there's only three deer on this island? Short bow. Okay, so that's the same thing I already have. Uh, you know what? And they're already marked. Man, I should just go ahead and see if I can hunt down all these deer real quick and see what's in that chest. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. There we go. What, did I just hit the tree? Damn it. Come back. Okay. <clears throat> I got it. Okay, so quick tip. Don't ever hunt at night. <laughs> I've literally been out here for most of the night hunting, and that, that just took way too long, so... It's probably going to be daytime soon, and I've just been out hunting deer. I really hope whatever is in this chest was well worth it, because that was stupid. So yeah, once again, don't hunt at night. It's just a complete waste of time. All right, what do we got? A hunter token. Okay, two hardwood log, white flower potion, and a game hunter's hat. Whoa. Hat favored by hunters increase self generation speed and strength. Seven armor, seven strike, health regeneration. Oh. We're definitely putting that on there. Check that out. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Very good. Okay, so that was kind of worth it, yeah. to the location where the skull is located. Ugh, it's nighttime though. This really sucks. When is it going to be day? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just running around right now just kind of occasionally looking for the lightning strikes. Uh, seeing if that will kind of light my way. Ugh. It's still really hard to see. Alright, that's excellent. We got... What was that? That was creepy. Okay, oops. Five east, one north. Okay, so we're kind of out of the range of um, where the skull could possibly be, so we gotta head south again. Because whatever location they say it's gonna be at on the map, that's exactly where it's gonna be. Oh, thank god, it's finally frickin' daytime. Okay. Felt like that was, like, the eternal night here on Salt. It was kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's see. Um, where's my location? Alright, yeah, so it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Um, and in the past, when I played this game before, it's supposed to be in a big rock. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's kind of funny considering what it is that I'm looking for. 
the, the storm right now is quite appropriate, actually. And, yeah, definitely need the torch, it's still too dark. Okay, bit annoyed by this one. Um, so this is not at the location that's mentioned on the map uh, or in the journal. The journal says 5 east, 0 north. This is location 6 east, 1 north. And that is the skull. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right, we're going to head back to the end. Good lord, I was out here a long, long time looking for that thing, and, uh, ooh, cool, rough, rough diamond, geez. good lord. So anyway, I'm gonna head on back to the inn, and see if we can turn this quest in. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go talk to Lendil. Mm -hmm. The ancient skull. Oh yes, I see you found the skull. I'm afraid I kept a small detail about the artifact from you. The skull is actually a cursed artifact. Uh-oh. Yes, yes. I know it was wrong of me, but if you only understood the peril the skull can wreck on this world, you would see why it's important that it falls into the right hands. I knew that only a person with true bravery and grit could remove the curse. After speaking to the innkeeper, I determined that you were the right person for the job. I want you to remove the curse. Throughout the world, there are a group of people who still practice a dark and ancient magic. They are known as cultists. I've read countless books on such people, and they often carry with them tomes that contain information on curses and rituals. According to legend, they can be found worshipping throughout the night around ritual sites. Find these cultists and see if you can obtain some information on how to remove the curse. Once you have the information you need, you'll know what to do. Okay, so we already have that book called the Cultist Tome. Uh, that's back at the uh, back at my ship. I just realized that. All right, let's find the one that's called Cultist Tome. I think it's the black one. Yep. Okay. Okay. So basically, what we're gonna have to do. I vaguely remember doing this before. We're going to have to go to one of those sites. We're going to have to either go there, right back to that island that we were on before, or we can head down there. Neither one doesn't really matter. They're pretty much at equal distances. Um, and perform the ritual to cleanse the skull that we currently have, this creepy thing here. So, anyway, on the, uh, the next video, we might actually head over there and do that. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. The next one's going to be kind of dangerous, so uh, we shall see how that goes. Anyway, see you guys. Yar.